everybody, before you watch the video, make sure you follow the page, like the video, hope you enjoy. pick sports based on like what kind of body image they're going to get or how they're going to feel yeah, about yeah. themselves doing it or whatever as well so yeah. i don't want to call it flower yeah i'm not <laughs> like trying to avoid that as best as possible mm. like but you know you just work around it like don't crush don't try and get crushed by, you know what i mean like yeah. play your game a little bit safer protect your ears protect your head or your neck and all that sort of stuff so um uh, yeah and i think that like Boy, you, you, and, and many other girls nowadays, like a, a, they are great examples. That boy, jujitsu, you can be super feminine. Like I yeah. think it's a super technical sport. You know what yeah. I mean? I I learned that like a, a while ago. Like, um, for jujitsu, uh, um, ladies uh, training and competing jujitsu, it's in any sport actually. It's so technical, you know what I mean? Because yeah. they don't have as much uh, power and strength, you know, most of the time. Yeah. So it becomes super refined, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I think that you can be, like, amazing, uh, beautiful and trained jiu-jitsu, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. And I think you're a great role model. Like, a lot of people don't understand that. but And I try to, to enlighten that to people. Like, once you start to become a purple belt and forward, you become a role model yeah. for a lot of people. So when you see yourself, you know, Jazz, you know, uh, Lauren, mm -hmm. um, you guys started, be you're the role model for all these 12, 13, 14 year yeah. girl, girls that are looking. And I heard that before from, from their parents. That's like they, they go, oh, they, they worried about, um, you know, like the image of Jiu-Jitsu. But when they saw that person, you know, yeah. they are the girl. They felt all oh, because they also look nice, and then you know what I mean. Like yeah. they just felt comfortable about it. It seems superficial, but it's really what girls. That's how they are. You well, know think I mean? about like, it. Yeah, but that, yeah. That's, yeah, that's like an evolutionary thing. There's nothing. Yeah, like exactly. Just... I don't think there's anything like. Yeah, I'm not ashamed that I still want to be pretty and do jujitsu. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and and that that is very important. Like being a whole role model for teenagers, like and it's super important, you know, because the time where they form in their character. They're forming the personality and they can have someone that they look up to yeah and and jiu-jitsu allows them like there are many times now their thirteens uh having a chair with jazz or having a chair with you for them that's yeah. super unique and they're learning you know? too that they don't have to forego their like personality by doing a certain sport you know it's not even just jiu-jitsu it could be anything you're yeah. perceived in a certain way you don't have to actually embody that you know what i mean you yeah, can yeah. just be whoever you want to be exactly and participate I mean? in this activity yeah. yeah exactly i think that fion davies she won the adcc over the weekend recently yeah. but she said some statement a while ago so she's like a pretty um well accoladed brazilian jiu-jitsu athlete mm. and um she said like there seems to be a shift like the, the the people that were kind of like um admired and put up and you know oh this is person's amazing you know the kim kardashians of the world and people that were kind of um do you remember when i asked you who well, this kim kardashian i don't know, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> i'm lucky ones i'm one of the lucky ones know, but i still don't know but these people i'm that, the lucky ones i know I but these, these people that are kind of admired for like real degeneracy like they looked at <laughs> as like amazing women and business people and it's like wait a second this person did like a sex act online and that's what made them famous. Yeah. Like, there's there's nothing admirable in that. You know what yeah. I mean? And she made a statement. She said there seems to be a shift happening and people are getting a little more awareness and more understanding and they're kind of realizing and they're not celebrating these degeneracy style women as much. There's a little bit of a shift happening. There's people like, oh, I want to be like Fion Davies. I want to be like Bia Mosquito, another high level Brazilian Jiu Jitsu athlete. Who is, you know, a pretty feminine looking woman, but still goes and does like, mm. you know, something that's hard and difficult. And I, I, I don't know them personally or anything like that. So I don't know what their personality is like. But I, I think that's interesting. Like that you, as more women do these types of things and do well and stuff and still behave femininely and kind yeah. and polite. Yeah. 
Yeah. There was another woman that beat that Gabby Garcia. I forgot her name. Yeah, I saw that fight. Uh, what's her name? Ramos or something. But she yep. was like, she was, I think she's quite religious and she was just like, you know, my whole thing was just about to see if I could do it. I just wanted mm. to see how good I could be. And, mm. you know, everything for me is about community and my team. And, you know, it's been such an amazing experience. I thank everybody that's helped so far. You know, it's amazing. My team is the best. I have so much support. This is amazing. And just such a genuinely kind feminine person that's not degenerate at all, that goes there and does the hard work and wins a world championship and well done to her. Mm. And I think, like, the more, you know, girls that watch that stuff that are in jiu-jitsu, the more they want to emulate that type of behavior as opposed to being some extremely seductive, degenerate kind of person that, you know, advertises their sexuality all the time and has like this really short lived kind of um, fame and it, for stuff that probably isn't um, so impressive, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching the video. Um, if you haven't yet already, make sure you subscribe, like, and again, go and check us out on Facebook, on Instagram, like all our platforms, give us a follow at bjj.101 on Instagram and go and check out bjj101.com.au to access the full video library.